Hey guys, first time here on camera in a while and in this video I have an interesting topic that's kind of off of what I usually talk of. Um, it's not about Apple actually, it's about a Google device that a lot a lot of rumors have been swirling about and I figured I might as well update you guys about them because I thought you'd be interested. I'm really excited about this device and there are a lot of uh, rumors swirling. This is going to be a next gen device, it's going to be awesome. So I figured I'd give you the specs of this device and what's actually going to be included, what you can expect, and when it's going to be released. This device actually is a Google device, and it is codenamed the Google Nexus Prime. I'm not sure if you guys have heard about it, but it's supposed to be either called the Nexus Prime or the Nexus 4G, and it's going to be an absolute beast. Um, it's going to feature a next generation dual core 1.5 gigahertz processor and that is going to be an OMAP 4460, so it's going to be really fast, um, ridiculously fast. Um, so that's one of the main features why this is being so hyped up. Uh, the second feature why this device is being so hyped up is for its display. It is supposed to be um, touting a 720p HD monster size screen super AMO LED HD display. Now I don't know what they mean by a monster size screen but what I do know is that if the display is in 720p that is definitely going to be as good or better than the iPhone's Retina display. And the Super AMO LED HD display name just sounds awesome. I mean, if it's in HD, that's awesome. I don't really know what, what to expect right now. But if it is in HD, I'll let you guys know. That would be absolutely ridiculous. Um, monster size, they haven't really released the size yet, but I have my Droid X here. This is a 4.3 inch display. So if they can make it bigger than this, that would be, I mean, I wouldn't really like the size of the device, but that would be really cool, if it, especially if it was in HD. Um, it's not going to actually feature Android menu buttons below the screen. Everything's going to be software based. So um, as you guys can see here, those four little buttons along the bottom that are for the menu, the home, the back, and the search buttons, they're not going to have those anymore. It's all going to be on the screen, software based. Uh, we can expect the device to be 4G compatible, 4G LTE compatible. Um, it's going to have a gig of RAM, 1080p HD video capture, and playback. And here's where things actually get interesting. It's going to have a 1 megapixel front-facing camera, but people are actually also saying, and multiple websites are saying, that it's going to have a 5 megapixel rear camera. Now, this camera isn't just any camera. It's supposed to be a advanced sensor uh, camera that delivers class leading image quality in addition to superior low light performance. So they are saying it's going to be an awesome camera. Um, I do think it's going to be a very very good camera. I do think it's going to include the 1080p recording and playback if it has an HD display um, because that seems reasonable but something that I don't think is reasonable that I have heard is that it's going to be able to capture up to 20 megapixel stills. I really don't see how a 5 megapixel camera can do that, but we'll have to wait and see. I'll keep you guys updated. I highly doubt that, but I do think it's going to include the 1080p video recording. And I do think it's going to be a very very good camera, don't get me wrong. I just don't think it's going to be able to capture 20 megapixel stills. Um, it's going to be able to run Android 4.0, um, and this is definitely going to be the first device out there to run Android 4.0, which is pretty interesting. Um, it's going to be called Android Ice Cream, which is going to come after Gingerbread, which I actually am currently running on my phone. And it's going to hold everything together in an ultra-thin package. So they haven't said too much about the operating system, but the device is going to be very thin and the operating system is going to be awesome, as I've heard. Um, as I said before, it's going to be either a Nexus device or a pure Google flagship device, which means the first device that Google's releasing that runs Ice Cream. Um, Samsung's going to actually be the manufacturer, and there is no carrier as of yet, or OEM as of yet. I think it's going to be released on multiple carriers and multiple OEMs. I'll keep you guys updated on that, um, but I, again, stay tuned. And yeah, many similar Android devices are supposed to be released um, on many carriers in the fall. I'm very pumped about this and you guys probably should be too. I can't wait to see what they actually have in store for the fall. Um, in terms of release date, it's going to be released around Thanksgiving 2011. And as I said before, expect it to be 4G, but there is no carrier as of yet. So that's the Google Nexus Prime, guys. That's what you can expect in that device. I know there's been a lot of rumors floating around there. So I wanted to make a video on that. And 
yeah, if you haven't already, definitely click the subscribe button right above there in the video. Greatly helps me out. Greatly appreciate it. And definitely be sure to favorite the video down there and rate thumbs up as well. All of that greatly helps me out, and I really appreciate it, guys. I love the support. Thank you so much for helping me out. And if you haven't already, definitely follow me on Twitter down there. I'm so up to date. I post a lot on Twitter, so follow me down there. Also, bookmark my website and like my fan page. And I am working on a gaming channel, so if you want to subscribe to that, that'll also be in the description. But thanks for watching, guys. Uh, hopefully you enjoyed this video. Stay tuned for more videos on the iPhone, Apple, and other technology. And I will catch you in the next video.